Mori Amsterdam Show, brought to you through the facilities of the Dumont Television Network. <laughs> Presented by your Dumont dealer, the man who holds the coveted Dumont Television Dealer franchise. With Maury Amsterdam, Art Carney, Dottie Dean and Freddie Blair, Leo, Blimpy Blank, Rita Constance, and Johnny Guarneri, his piano and his orchestra, at the Silver Swan Cafe. Dumont, first with the finest in television, proudly presents the Sherbrooke Console. With 19-inch direct view lifetone picture tube, oversized chassis for longer life and superb performance, both AM and FM radio, and three-speed automatic record player, America's distinguished teleset. The Hanover console in classic Heffelflight design with 19-inch direct view picture tube, FM radio, and phonograph plug-in. Remember, there are 16 new and different models in both mahogany veneer and blonde hardwood made by Dumont. Dumont, the world's largest organization devoted exclusively to television and electronics. And now your Dumont dealer invites you to join Maury Amsterdam and the Happy Gang at the Silver Swan Cafe. We're certainly happy to see that you're having such a wonderful time. Would you kindly hurry back to your tables and chairs because it's floor show time again. Time to meet the man who keeps things rolling around here at the Silver Swan. The man who makes you feel mellow with his cello and all in all makes you have a good time. Your host, Maury Amsterdam. <laughs> a song running through my mind all day. It's a big hit. What, you know that song was loud? Da-da-da-da-da-da, Sally Epstein. What a song. Good evening, ladies. I'm not trying to bring summer back. I'll tell you why I'm wearing this in a minute. But coming down here tonight on the subway, a very peculiar thing happened. Tell us about it. I will, and he did. <laughs> I was noticing the different ways that people read newspapers. You know what? You can almost judge a person's character by the way they read a paper. The fellow gets in the subway, opens up the paper. You can tell immediately he's looking at the financial news like this. Then there's a the fellow who plays poker. He looks at the paper this way. <laughs> then there's the regular subway uh, rider. He's always afraid because the guy is looking over his shoulder. He finally gets the paper up to about here. The fellow is still looking. And did you ever see the kind of fellows who read the paper? The real sadistic kind of guys. They're always beating the paper. You know, they got it like this. <laughs> then there's a fellow in the restaurant. He trusts nobody. He likes to read the paper and keep his eye on his overcoat at the same time. <laughs> Pretty good, a person there ruined the paper. People do the silliest thing, and incidentally, that's the reason for the hat. Do you mind saving this till later? We make it into confetti. Thank you very much. Hey, a nice stand, the fellow's got sitting over here. I was the belly. <laughs> What'd he say? Wow, wow. <laughs> Tell you why I brought the hat on. You know, on this show, the customer is almost right, and we got a letter from somebody, and they said they'd like me to do an imitation of Maurice Chevalier. I haven't done this in a long time, but I will do it for you now. The reason I tell you what I'm going to do is so that while I'm doing it, you don't nudge each other and say, what is he doing? And it goes like this. Every little breeze seems to whisper Louise. Girls in the three seem to Twitter. Louis, each little row, then the little row. Oh, I love you. Every little beat that I feel in my all seems to repeat what I failed to dissolve. Each little row tells me it knows I am talking to you, Louis. Oh, Jace, to see and hear you. Oh, it's joy. I never knew. Oh, Louis, to be so near you. It thrills me through our through. Anyone can tell that I wanted your case. It had to be for the one that is me. Find it be true. Someone like you could love me. Louise. Louise, I...
Dottie Dean. If we're in it, yes, I guess. Ra, ra, ra. Devil. Pretty good, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Marissa. <laughs> What are we doing, cockeye? Let's settle down. <laughs> Milton, I'd like to say I'm glad to see you, but to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. Thanks. You look like a doll tonight, D.O.G. Thank, Thank you. What is that, a paper bag? I thought you were never getting to the issue. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, no, that's on. a large, overstuffed prune dipped in strawberry formaldehyde. Of course it's a paper bag. Well, what have you been doing with it? Just query. Just served the customer some milk. Well, it... Milk in a bag? That's the craziest thing I ever heard. A cow carries it in a thimble? <laughs> Go argue with a cow. And speaking of cows... Hey! <laughs> I got rid of my landlady, the trooper. Trooper? You got rid of her? Yeah. What happened? What'd you do? What'd Tell you her do? I took her down to Coney Island last week, see? Yeah. Fed her 37 hot dogs. Uh-huh. 12 jars of orange juice. <laughs> 15 bags of peanuts. How about pick a lily? Two jelly apples. Two jelly apples. That did the trick. Yeah. <laughs> then I handed her an anchor and pushed her in the ocean. Oh, well, what, where is she now? Uh, I think she's in dry dock at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I got a new girlfriend. Who is that? This one's a pepperoo. No kidding. She's in Love that... Love kick you in the teeth again? Righto. Who is it? <laughs> she's in that Broadway extravaganza. Peep show. <laughs> extravaganza? Yeah. You mean extra quality, boy. Well, <laughs> extra Extravaganza. Oh, she's a pip. In oh, the peep show? Did you yeah. see the show? Sure, oh, I saw it last Monday night. Yeah? Went back Tuesday, picked up my eyes. <laughs> really? Oh, Your girl is in that? And every day I send this gal of mine a rose. A rose? And does she wear it? She has to. It's her costume. <laughs> hey! You really fell this time, huh, kid? Oh, this is, this is it. This is the real thing. It's huh? the real thing. I don't go for that plastic stuff. <laughs> crazy. Well, come on, tell me about her, Newton. I suppose she's that dream girl. She's the one that dream me girl. Me every night I dream about her. She's begging me to kiss her. Yeah? I turn my head. She's begging me to kiss her. I turn my head. Keep doing that. You make a nice draft. Uh -huh. Playing hard to get, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that why you do that? You keep begging her to kiss her, you turn your head. You play hard to get. I don't think I've been myself lately anyway. I'm getting the proper rest. That's right. You haven't been yourself, and I've noticed the improvement. <laughs> What do you mean you'll get the proper rest? Oh, don't you like can't. everybody else and you sleep between the sheets? No, I sleep between my brother and a window. <laughs> my brother, the craziest dreams, always dreaming he's a bicycle rider, always kicking the covers off. The only time I get any rest is when he's coasting. <laughs> what kind of bed do you sleep in? Murphy bed. Murphy. And that's another thing. <laughs> Every morning, three o'clock in the morning, Murphy wakes me up, wants me to sing Danny Boy. <laughs> Murphy bed, that's a wall bed, isn't it? Yeah. Murphy bed? Yeah. yeah. I don't like those wall beds. I used to have one when I was a kid. It's murder, you know, sleeping with your feet up in the air and your head. <laughs> <in> your... <laughs> You're crazy. You don't well, I got a You nice need a change, boy. Your brother? He's a nice boy. He is? I don't want to tell him to get out. Why not? It'll hurt my conscience. I didn't know you had one. I had a birthday. <laughs> I had a birthday last week. And he sent me a nice present. Yeah. A pajama top. Well, I think that's real key. Pajama top? Well, that's all he could afford. He put a nice little card in there. It says, Happy birthday, Brother Newton, from the waist up. <laughs> You're out of your mind. You know something? I have decided that what you need is a vacation. You should go away someplace. Just that's forget what I need. Business. I just want to get out in the wide open spaces. Out in the country, that's for you, boy. The buzzing of the bees. Boom. The singing of the birds. Boom. That's what I need, a change. Boom. Boom. The buzzing of the bees and the singing of the birds. That's yeah. right, and the cricket of the crickets. Yeah. And the droning of the locusts. I can see you out there. Under a... What? The Don't droning it. of the locusts. Well, you know what a locust is. Uh, it's a train. Makes every station stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not a locust, that's a local. No, no, a local is a country boy. Barefoot boy with cheeks of tan. It's a yokel. <laughs> no, no, a yokel is part of an egg. Crazy. <laughs> There's a white of an egg and a yolk of an egg. It's an, oh, you said yolk. No, 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 yolk, yolk is what a comedian tells a yolk. He hopes he gets a yak with a yolk. <laughs> Meyer, I got news for you. What? <laughs> that's a joke. No, a joke isn't a bottle. A pause that refreshes. That's, that's a, a coke. coke. That's a coke. <laughs> Is that a coke? A it coke is, is what frogs do. <coughs> they coke. <laughs> <laughs> they don't coke, they croak. No, no, croak is when somebody goes out and makes you a meal. Say, she's a mighty fine croak. <laughs> That's a crook. That's a crook? That's a cook. You got me with Oh, a crook. A crook. Which reminds me of the song. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked the cook. <laughs> Makes Bake. sense, don't it, huh? Bake the cook. That's a cake and you're nuts. A nut cake, then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, will you forget this whole deal for goodness sake? A nutcake. That's what you are. You ought to trade your brains in. Don't talk to me in that tone of voice. 
We've been through too much together. Through we... thick and thin. Muck and Meyer. Say, that's a great name for an advertising agency. Muck, Muck and Meyer. Meyer. Curtains, Barton, and Osborne. Certainly. <laughs> and I just want you to remember one thing before I leave. I'm going to be black and blue here. It <laughs> takes all kind of people to make a world. And I'm glad I'm not one of them. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Why what? don't you just forget this whole thing and wait on a couple of customers? You're driving me loco. Loco? That's, that's a train that makes every station stop. Isn't it? <laughs> that's a local. No, no, local is a country boy with bare feet. It's yeah. a yokel. Now get off. Oh. <laughs> <For goodness. laughs> Pardon me, miss. Would you like to order something? Oh, yes, I would. A scotch and soda for the gentleman. Brandy for me and make it straight. You say you don't see any gentleman. Why, that's my lover there. My very own. Pardon me, I'd like to speak to him alone. I can't believe that you're not here with me to have a laugh or share a tear with me. Oh, no, 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 it can't. Gentlemen, Rita is a little gal from Philadelphia. This is her second appearance in the uh, Silver Swan Cafe, and we predict wonderful, wonderful things for you. Only may I make one suggestion? What's Don't that? sing anymore to empty chairs. They'll take you away with a man in white. Ooh. <laughs> Speaking of a man in white, here comes one now. His name is Don Russell. He has something interesting to say. Let us listen. How does it go? Well, you know, Maury, I always have an interesting story to tell the people every week about this time. Well, do tell. And I have something very interesting to show them about it, Dumont oh. Telesense. Now, hmm. uh, you know, friends, According to Norman Rockwell's famous illustration, the greatest joys in life are shared. There's a treasure of pleasure for moments of leisure with Dumas. Life has more to it, you thrill when you view it through Dumas. Thirst be the finest in television, that's a set to own. Famous for life, tone and life size. 
fine pages do not stand alone. Now, friends, this 1951 Dumont Mount Vernon console will give you television at its finest with clear, sharp, beautiful pictures and magnificent tone quality. Now remember, there are 16 beautiful 1951 Dumont telesets in both mahogany veneers and blonde hardwoods from which to make a selection. So friends, be sure to see your Dumont dealer. There's a treasure of pleasure that's far beyond measure with Dumont. Home becomes brighter and hearts are much lighter with Dumont. Dumont, the hallmark of quality, product of master design. There's no comparing the joys you'll be sharing with Dumont. Dumont. Thank you. That's just our little story about Dumont, friends. Right now, I'd like to let you in on something very nice. It's the Dumont Television 1950 Football Guide, compliments of your Dumont dealer. Now, there are 40 pages of all the major college football schedules in here, just about all the colleges in the United States, and diagrams of stadiums, the latest rules and regulations, and penalties in football. All in all, a very handy guide to have during the football season. All you have to do to get it is just visit your nearest Dumont dealer and ask him for it, and he'll give it to you free of charge with his compliments. Drop in and get it today, won't you? And now, we'd like to present the Silver Swan players in one of their startling epics. Tonight, we take you to the Wild West, and we take you to the Badlands, where we meet the Crisco Kid and his band of cattle rustlers. Tonight's epic is entitled, She Put Beer on the Kitchen Stove, or Foam on the Range. <laughs> And your seagull followed me six miles. Figured I had water on the knee. Yeah. Every place you look around here is sand. 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 Not a drop of spinach to eat. I haven't eaten a bite for three days. <laughs> you haven't what? Eaten a bite for three days. At your rate, you're good for another two years. <laughs> me throat is flush. I'm so thirsty I could even drink water. And speaking about water, man, I got something to tell you. I got four drops left on my canteen. Goody, four drops of water. Don't be carried away, Jack. <laughs> ten, ten. <laughs> Present tongues. <laughs> Glad you made it. Hey, how come that was only three drops of water? What are you going to do with the other drop? I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the other drop. Lead it to my good old friend, Elmer, my pet goldfish. Dad hasn't forgotten you, Elmer. Would you like to go swimming? Back in the water again? Hmm? Back to the mirage you go. Hey, you I... know, it's at a time like this that I sure hope and wish that I had a difference. What's a difference? That's what I say. What's a difference? <laughs> What's a difference? Not in your head, you'll make me sunstroke. <laughs> Listen, methinks I hear the beat of horses' hoofs. I knew I heard it. Here he comes, the Crisco Kid. He's coming in on a cloud of dust. Is he riding a horse? No, he's riding a cloud of dust. Boy, hey, Crisco! Ah, be the big of Kenneth Simmons, Kenneth, 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 
this way. Oh, it's pretty hot here. Honey, desert it is. Oh, you did that. Yes. Here it is hot. Why you want, I mean? Hey, Crisco, that's a very pretty necktie you have. It's nice of you to notice it. Certainly is. The sheriff gave it to me. He took me out for lunch. You mean he took you out for lunch? No, no, lunch. No, lunch is when you go out in the uh, ocean there. You drive around in a lunch. That's a lunch. No, lunch is when you go to the psychiatrist's office. You lie down on a lunch. That's a lounge. No, no, lounge when two wrestlers are fighting, they lounge at each other. That's lounge, you shut up. No, lounge is what you're shut up. You're shut projecting. Up. <laughs> shut up, amigo. I'm a pretty tough hombre. You fellas talk to each other. I think I roll my own here this time. You like Bulldog? Oh, I love Bulldog. Oh, you take his paper, I don't want it. Well, amigo, as we say, cut a Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Bottoms up. Mmm, <laughs> good. Hey, Crisco. What? What did the sheriff get you for? Hey, he's a crazy fella. He put me in jail. He says that I was shooting mosquitoes. Who ever heard of putting a man in jail for shooting mosquitoes? He did. <laughs> Why? Why? The mosquitoes were some people. <laughs> Men! I have a Jim Dandy idea. What is this? We go to the nearest cattle ranch and round up some doggies. Doggies! Doggies! Talking about doggies, a good thing you mentioned it, because <laughs> I got some mustard over here, and if we come across some hot doggies, we'll use the same yeah. here. Well, yeah, it's not a mustard away. No, I hit you in the head for that, but I know what you're saying. I'm sick and tired of hearing. I'm sick, sick, sick. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, Let's go. go. Wait a minute. Wait a we can't go. Now, why can't we go, Mosquito? Listen, man. They've elected a new marshal. And he's out gunning for you. The marshal is gunning for me? Yeah. What is the name of this marshal? That's a secret. Has this marshal got a posse? That's a secret. Well, do you think I am a jerk, an idiot, I'm a, 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 an imbecile? That's no secret. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, Twisco, you've met and not go to town because you're liable to wind up in the can. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good joke. That's a pretty good joke. <laughs> Uncle Sam! <laughs> I'm you. Listen, Crisco. What? I mean it. What? You're in hot water. I'm in hot water, then there's only one thing for me to do. I take a bath. Whee! Huh? The soap! <laughs> what is this? It is a note from the marshal. Says you must be out of town by 10 o'clock. I cannot be out of town by 10 o'clock. Another message. I don't know if this so. Well, then be out by 12. <laughs> well. Look, the stranger is... Horsing on approach, but uh, I mean a stranger is approaching on horseback. <laughs> What do you mean, that's foe, not foe, foe, foe. Now look at him, foe, foe. What do you want, amigo? What's the trouble? Huh? Oh! Huh? Oh, he says he's a big cattle rancher. We steal his cow. Don't look at me. <laughs> Wait just a minute. What do you mean we steal your cow? We don't steal no cattle. What is your brand? Oh, you see? That's not much of a joke, but we just thought the sponsors like it. <laughs> Here she comes. Who is this? All right, you men. Reach! Ah, <laughs> oh, hold it! <laughs> I mean, reach for the sky! Oh. oh, what is that? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you, little girl? Who are you? What is oh, that? skip it. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Just oh, skip, skip it. it. Oh, skip it. This is an Irish girl. Oh, skip it. Skip it. <laughs> Look, I'm the marshal, and my name is Pepper. Pepper, for a shaker. Ba 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 woo. Listen, you come get fresh, and I'll call my posse. Your posse? You got a posse? Sure, I have. Here, posse. Meow. Meow. Get over there, you pup. Go ahead, get over there. You, Crisco Kid. Yeah, that's me. You are accused of robbing three thousand ranch houses and stealing all the beds. That is the truth. I was sleepy. Why did you do it? I just told you. <laughs> You don't know. She got a line. She doesn't. Go ahead. You're sleepy. Why? What an excuse. I ought to put a bullet right through your head. Wouldn't bother me at all. I'm a fella. I figure a hole in the head is a good thing if you got an open mind. <laughs> Marshal. Well? I'm aiming to tell you something. <laughs> yeah? Speak fluidly, don't I? Very fluidly. Don't touch your hair on this man's head. <laughs> Why not? Because he just... 
combed it, you'd mess it up. That's just good. You'll all swing for this. You'll all swing. You hear what she said? We swing for this. Yeah. Well, if we swing for this, wait till I get my mustache back on. We swing for this. Television Network.